We love that music. Welcome good. back to your dish. First of all, I'm beside myself that Crystal does not know the Chi Chi's birthday song. How can I you not know? Everyone knows the Chi Chi's birthday. Look, show our floor guy right there. We, you know the Chi Chi's birthday mm -hmm. song, don't you? No. What? How can, Come, you, know? how can you not know the Chi Chi's birthday song? <laughs> to you, to you, to you. Ole! Yeah. I was able to now. play along, though. Yeah, you were. You, you were. faked it really well. <laughs> Thanks. Happy birthday to you, my yes. dear. Thank you. As we know, Natalie spent her birthday uh, there in Kentucky at the Kentucky Derby, and I love the Derby. There were so many beautiful hats. I love the Southern women, the gentility, <laughs> the delicacy. As my husband says, it's, it's the Super Bowl for women. It's the yeah. Super Bowl for women. And I don't know if you saw the biggest, most beautiful Southern belle at the track hmm. uh, there, uh, right there with your race day. Did you see that? <laughs> No, I didn't see that. This is not a joke. That's Johnny Weir, the ice oh, skater. No. He went to Derby, and only Johnny could sport an outfit more feminine and fabulous than Natalie's. Oh, that's great. You wow. go, Johnny. Oh, boy. His hat was bigger than mine. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Tonight, right here on Channel 2, we have Gossip Girl, and Billy Baldwin is making his big appearance on Gossip Girl. Hello. Mm -hmm. But before he goes on the show tonight, he pops by our show, and I talked to him a couple hours ago, and you know, since our show's called Every Day, you know what I had to ask him? Yes. I said... Hey, Billy, what, what do, do you, you do, do every day? day? It's kind of like Groundhog Day. I do a lot of reading. I do uh, a lot of fundraising. Uh, I do a lot of, you know, pursuing my, 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 my next gig. A lot of quality time. Uh, you know, every morning I'm up with my kids and cooking them breakfast and taking them to school and helping them with homework and coaching their teams. And a lot of quality time with my wife and kids. And, uh, you know... A little bit of goofing around, training and exercising too, sprinkled in throughout the course of the week. But anything out of the box that's kind of unusual that would surprise you? I don't know. Maybe I am getting too old. I don't have. I can't pull any of those surprises out. I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm not running like a methamphetamine lab or anything out of my home. Anything that would really shock your your audience. No. I'm, I'm sure you spent at least ten or fifteen minutes combing that hair, right? I just I roll out of bed and I look like this. He rolls out of bed and he looks like that. Wow. You're a lucky guy. No methamphetamine lab That's in his good. bathroom. Glad he clarified You, you that, heard yeah. it here first. Mm -hmm. Watch for Billy tonight right here on Channel 2 on Gossip Girl. Going to be fun. Now, speaking of Hollywood, we're the only station that takes you out there live to L.A. every day. The heart of all the movie magic. And the guy who brings it to us every day is Dax. How are you doing today, Dax? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Well, we were sad to report the passing of Lynn Redgrave. That, of course, is a Hollywood a movie legend that's passed away. You'll have more on that, I'm assuming, on your webpage? Yep, we already got something up, so you can go to the webpage, check it out, all that kind of stuff. Excellent. Another big story today is Michael Douglas's son. This is such a sad story, but we're hoping some good might come of it. And you know what? Michael Douglas, I think, is thinking the exact same thing. He was on the Today Show, and he was talking all about Cameron Douglas and the fact that he has to go to jail for the next five years and do all this probation. But he says, look, this is a new start for him. You know, the kid's been, uh, you know, on drugs since he was 13 years old. And Michael said this is the first time that he's been sober in all those years. And, uh, yeah, maybe this will be a new start to him. He'll be able to start his life over, have a good uh, next uh, lifetime. So, I don't know. I, he was very, very positive about the whole thing. Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom before you can turn around, so maybe it will be a new beginning. Hope so. Speaking yeah. of new beginnings, Brett Michaels looks like he is making recovery progress. Yeah, this is awesome. He's doing very, very well. Uh, we have talked to multiple sources who are confirming that he's doing awesome. He's alert, aware. Uh, he himself wants to be back on stage next month, and I guess that's his goal. Uh, and just everyone's talking so positive. I mean, we had a really rough patch there, you know, a week ago when people were afraid that he was going to pass away. And now he's doing awesome. He's talking. His, uh, his uh, speech has cleared up a little bit. He was slurring a lot before. I guess his vision has cleared up. So this is awesome, awesome news for all those Brett Michael fans out Good. there. Good stuff. I had some good news on a Monday for sure. And before I let you go, uh, you know, it's Natalie Tisdall's birthday. Uh, just yesterday, she turned to 29 years yes. old. Uh -huh. So my question to you is this. A crystal did not know the Chi Chi's birthday song. It's a legendary song. Do you or do you not know the Chi Chi's birthday song, the one they sing you when you go to Chi Chi's? What is Chi Chi? Exactly. <laughs> Hey, Dax, I grew up in California like you. Oh, no, you grew up here, but you're in California now. Maybe that's I'm a problem. Like, I'm I don't like, know. maybe the Casa Bonita I would know or yeah. something like that. That's about it. What is Chi Chi's? 
It's a Mexican. <laughs> ah, for heaven's sake, we forget about it. Cheese. Cheese. It's a Mexican <laughs> joint. All right. I'll see you at Casa Bonita next time you're in town, Dax. <laughs> Olé. To you, to you, to you. Olé. Olé. All right. Take it easy. Dax Bye. in the heart of Hollywood. Hey, you know what? Natalie now has, what do you have, 17 kids? Are we using it now? Three. <laughs> I, I've lost track after the ninth kid. Lance Armstrong giving you a run for your money. Yeah. Oh, he announces no. today that Lance Armstrong is going to be a dad for the fifth time. Wow. about that? Make a big announcement via Twitter saying, quote, yet another blessing in our lives. I cannot wait. The baby is due in October. I, I take it back. It's our producer, Chris, that has 19 kids. <laughs> of course. This guy has a kid uh, every quarter, don't you? <laughs> no, you have more than three. You had three last oh, week. You got, four on, you got one on the way. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hey, I don't know about you, but when Adam Lambert and Ricky Martin came out of the closet, I was shocked. I had no idea. Unbelievable. What? Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> now the country music world getting its own shocker. Word has it that Shelley Wright will announce this week that she is gay. Her song, Single White Female, was the number one hit back in 1999. She has a new album coming out this week. If she does confirm this via TMZ, it'd be the first time that a country western singer has come forward and been open about it. Really? It's a big deal. Huh. Huh. Yeah. We were debating whether Merle Haggard was going to make a similar announcement. No. The answer is no, Probably he will not. not. No. Not going to happen. You know, I love Twilight movies, but if you ask me, the one thing Edward Cullen needs is a big musical number like Cats. If anyone could do it, it's the director of Breaking Dawn, Bill Condon is directing the new movie. He directed Dreamgirls. Yeah. So everyone's wondering, was he going to put some music into this next yeah. one? He says he's stoked to be directing it, but, quote, there will not be any musical numbers. Bummer. Bums me out because I've already written my first song for the show. It's called Bite Me. <laughs> <laughs> Bite me so we can always be together. Isn't that nice? It's creepy. Isn't that sweet? It's creepier than the shower curtain. That is pretty creepy. Okay, fine. If Twilight won't go show tunes, I'll have to rely on the good students of Ole Miss. This YouTube viral video of the day, one of those flash mobs in the school cafeteria starts small and then they all get their jai ho on. <laughs> They have the whole thing planned out. Slowly but surely it gets bigger. And that girl's into it, huh? No, I am not doing the Jai Ho. Is that what our producer's getting at? He wants you to do this, Crystal. Can you join him in the Jai Ho? I prefer to just watch. Come on, Jai, Jai Ho! Come on, Jai Ho! Come on, Crystal, join I can't me. do it for my Jai Ho! Jai Ho! I don't really do know it. the Jai Ho. Apparently, you're not going to do it. <laughs> what if, oh, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't want to look like you what guys. What is a jai? Am I supposed to know it's that? It's from Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Learn that. Let's learn it. You want to learn the Jai Ho yeah, dance? I'm okay. down with it. All right. Hey, uh, you know, Natalie, let me see your ring hand, darling. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah. you both have some decent sized bling. That's some beautiful bling. Thank I love you. the Look right at the here. bling on these two Thank girls. You. They have very you. rich husbands, apparently. <laughs> but you haven't seen bling until you've seen the Mariah Carey's bling. Let's Our producer, bling. Sari, sent me this this morning. Check that oh, out. Yes. Yes. Now, this is That's not a not joke. Real. Her, That's a ring pop. It, it is. Her <laughs> husband, Nick, she and he have this thing for the ring pops, right? They right. love ring pops. It's when they fell in love over ring pops. So he actually made a custom-designed ring pop for her, the renewal of their vowels. Well, <laughs> they obviously don't have kids yet because you can't wear a ring like that and have a baby. I just said the renewal of their vowels. They did not renew their vowels. They renewed their vows. I knew what you meant. You knew what I meant. You were with me, weren't you? Is it Monday? Hey, have you seen the new Sex in the City poster? Critics are calling it an airbrushed disaster. Take a quick look-see. Uh, there's the... Well, it's kind of far to see, but if you could see their faces, you would see that it doesn't even look like them. Completely airbrushed. Aww. But here's the deal. We actually got the unairbrushed version of the poster to show you what they look like. That's the four of them now <laughs> before they're airbrushed. There's the they actual deal. Don't they look fabulous? Yes. There's your dish for this Monday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay.